one of those again in the heavyweight division with Evander Holyfield and Lennox Lewis. And we have the first of this series right here tonight. Well, the big fight is four fights down the road. We're going to start you off this evening with the Super Bowl of women's boxing, Victoria's Secret style, as Mia the Knockout St. John tries to protect her unbeaten record against Amanda Skelton. And there's a look at Mia. The record nine wins, the six knockouts accounting for her nickname. She says she wants to be seen and appreciated as a serious boxer. But if her promoter wants to publicize her as the former Playboy modeling agency swimsuit model that she was, that's perfectly all right with her. It provides enormous incentive for her opponents. And tonight, across the ring, is the relatively inexperienced Amanda Skelton. A nice country girl from Russellville, Arkansas, who took up boxing to stay in shape and has now gone beyond that to win four fights, one by knockout in the last year. She said, I'm getting scrap money compared to Mia. I would like to reverse the damage on that. Tale of the tape for Mia the Knockout St. John against Amanda Skelton. The weight class is featherweight, 126 pounds. You see the seven-year age advantage for Skelton. St. John is two inches taller and weighed in one pound over the limit while Skelton was two pounds under. Their reach entirely equal. Rules of the bout with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold the Knockout Letterman. <laughs> the Mia St. John Amanda Skelton fight is scheduled for four rounds using the rules of the Nevada State Athletic Commission. And Jim, the most important rule is in women's boxing, each round is only two minutes. And there is no standing eight count. The three knockdown rule is in effect. Only the referee can stop the fight, and you can be saved by the bell in the fourth and final round only. Jim. Thank you, Harold. And now let's go up to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the first time this evening to get us started. Ladies and gentlemen, and good evening, and welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada, courtesy of the legendary Las Vegas Hilton Hotel Casino and the all-new Mandalay Bay Resort Casino. Tonight, Top Rank Incorporated, along with your undisputed, undefeated king of beers, Budweiser. This Bud's for you. Present professional boxing for your entertainment. All the bouts are sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Let's get things started, ladies and gentlemen, with four two-minute rounds in the women's featherweight division. The three judges scoring this bout on a 10-point must system will be Bill Graham, Dick Houck, and Patricia Jarman. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Joe Cortez. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing a red, white, and blue, and weighing in at 124 pounds, she comes to us from Russellville, Arkansas, and brings a professional record of 4 and 0, 1 KO to her credit. Ladies and gentlemen, smoking Amanda Skelton. <laughs> and her opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing pink, and weighing in at 127 pounds. She's fighting out of Calabasas, California, with a perfect record of 9-0, 6 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the knockout, Mia St. John. Okay, young ladies, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. Give me good sportsmen. Good sports lady like combat. Shake hands, good luck. <laughs> Mia St. John is an attractive lady, but uh, she's no Oscar De La Hoya. Now, what does that mean? <laughs> well, I think Oscar is prettier. Amazing. There are probably many who would agree with you. Mia St. John in the past has been a wild swinger. Kind of a Philip Holiday without technique, and she lands a big left and a big right to start out against Amanda Skelton. Mia oh, pledged oh. to us that she would try to be more measured in her punch output and put combinations together tonight. This reminds me of a guy, uh, right, bring a girl bring bringing bring a bring gun bring to a knife fight, and vice versa. This is a time for Mia to mix it up, and she's standing right there with a basic good boxing instincts and this may not be the time to do that now you got to mix it up and let the, your opponent know that you're good not by your stance but your strength 
and off what we know of her weight training and her background as a karate kickboxing competitor, you expect Mia St. John to be stronger, but so far she's Amanda strong. Skelton has been standing her ground and giving just about as good as she's gotten right, hold, 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 hold. from Mia. Incidentally, as Harold Letterman pointed out, two minute rounds, so we're more than halfway through round one as St. John lands a big right over the top go, and Skelton go. counters with a shorter, straighter right hand. Yeah, Mia's been able to land some great body punches. So that, that'll change things quick. She's hitting right underneath the arms. Referee Joe Cortez, one of the best referees in boxing, with an assignment that prompted him to chuckle after the opening instruction. Well, that shows you we're still some of the good old boys. We need a woman in here somewhere. <laughs> we need to tell Ross Greenberg about that. As round one comes to a close, Boy, St. John uh, tiring a little bit. Well, she's taking a body beating. Mia is putting those punches right in the pit of the stomach. Like many inexperienced fighters, Skelton in only her fifth pro fight doesn't throw many body punches. I don't know what that was, I'm but the crowd seems right, to have enjoyed it. Grab it from my face. Take it easy. Take it easy. Give me your mouthpiece. Open up. Open up. That's good. Tie the hair back, tie the hair back. Mia, yeah, settle down, settle down. Tie it tight, PJ. Mia, listen to me. Throw that right hand of the body, left hook to the head, okay? Right hand of the body, left hook to the head. You won that last round, you look pretty good. She's getting a little bit tired. Keep your hands up, don't get too wild though, okay? More water. Okay. Right hand of the body, <laughs> Cover my left eye, my, hook my, to eye, the head. my eye. I'll get it, I'll get it, Mia, settle down, please. Okay. Just settle down, okay? You got this girl. Here you see Mama Mia, who has two children with a straight right, to Skelton, who has three children. When trainer Pat Goosen first encountered Mia Rosales St. John, he put his son Chuck Goosen in the ring to spar with her and said, tell me what she's got. Chuck came back it, after a couple of rounds and said, Dad, she hits hard and she smells like soap. Skelton has been able to land some good right hands here and there to make Mia back off just a little bit also. Jab by Mia, or jab, yeah, jab by Mia as Skelton comes in. Skelton often just wading right in and then grabbing and holding Mia. And she's jabbing also, Skelton is, and those jabs have some effect. Four-punch combination, and Skelton with a hard right hand to the body. Skelton is tough. That's Arkansas for you, you see. Skelton, by her own admission, up against it here. She has a full-time job. She is a single mother to three children, says that she doesn't get enough help from her ex-husband, those children's father, to make a big difference in helping her to train. And she believes Mia St. John gets enough money for her fights that she can train full-time without doing anything else. Mia tucks her head underneath, and Skelton is not throwing any uppercuts. If she just gets down once or twice with an uppercut, she may be able to drop Mia. Is the uppercut almost always the last punch that a beginning fighter will learn, George? Yeah, they just don't depend on it. That's one uppercut by Skelton. Yep. And Skelton lands a counter right, and Mia St. John lands a thunderous counter left as the second round comes down the stretch. And the two women just a tiny bit underwater now as exhaustion sets in at the end of the second two-minute round. Still to come in the next big event here, 122-pound world champion Eric Morales, undefeated from Tijuana, Mexico. 31 wins already, and he's only 22 years old. Tonight's opponent, Angel Chacon, a southpaw from Puerto Rico. <laughs> Look at me. You doing all right out there? No problem. No problem. Protect yourself. Okay, when would you start taking unnecessary punishment? I'm here to protect you. Start taking too many blows to the head. Okay, he's not taking too many blows to the head. I'm here to protect you. I will stop it. Come on. Just keep it 
hands up, and when she she's trying to hit you, she's gonna hit on that break. Don't don't let her get away with doing that. You go ahead and hit too. Let's go. Let's do it now. Be a, this is gonna be There's a Let's get out of here, okay? country song out now called Easy on the Eyes, Hard on the Heart. Seems appropriate here. And you heard Joe Cortez telling Skelton's corner between rounds that he was concerned about the number of blows she was taking to the head. I think Mia may have bitten off a little more than she uh, had in mind to bite. Well, she gets hit. She got hit in the last fight we saw, too, this past September on the undercard of uh, De La Hoya versus uh, Chavez. And Harold, how'd you score the first two rounds? <laughs> Jim, I got a two to nothing, 20 oh, to 18, Mia oh, oh, St. John. She seems to be landing the clean of punches. Jim, you know, let me talk for a moment about the scoring area. You got to land between, you know, from the, from side to side in the front of the body. A lot of Amanda Scott's punches are so wide that they hit Mia St. John at the back, and you really can't count those as scoring blows. But Mia St. John, even though she's very pretty, has to cut that hair. It's bothering her. It's getting in the rice. I'm telling you, sometimes she can't see. Two rounds in a row, she's asked her corner to tie her hair effectively behind her head. Come on, come on work out of there. Your hands are free. Come on. Your hands are free. You can work out of there. Come on, work out. More than halfway through round three. Fight is scheduled for four two minute rounds. The fighters have slowed down considerably, George. Amanda's pretty clever, too. She gets hit, she gets hurt hard, she gets in there and holds on. And that takes a lot of experience. She's willing to take a rest. Well, and, and in this round, she's limited the amount of contact that Mia can uh, make. Probably in response to what Cortez says between rounds, and you saw the quick little counter right hand inside by Amanda Skelton. Come on, bring up, bring up, bring up, please. Hey, got it, baby. Come on, keep on. All right, all right, break up, break up, break up, clean. Step back. You think that St. John's college degree in psychology is helping her at the moment, George? <laughs> How are we doing, Amanda? Amanda, this is the last round coming up, right? We have some water, water. And here's one psychological ploy. Minutes ago, Ike Quarte, the bazooka from Ghana, arrived at the arena ahead of his opponent, Oscar De La Hoya, who will be coming in just a little bit later. About two and a half hours from now, maybe slightly less than that, Quarte right, will be round. in the we'll ring up, right? to round. challenge De La Hoya for world supremacy at 147 pounds. An extremely confident man off his public statements and his body language in the past several weeks. He can hardly believe that he's getting this chance. He didn't think that De La Hoya would ever fight him. Fourth and final round Come upcoming. Up. Mia Rosales St. John, right. Mia the Knockout St. John the wrestling, in the right? pink outfit. She's from the San Fernando Valley in California. Mother of two, as Larry Merchant pointed out. Former wife of Christoph St. John, an actor in the daytime drama, The Young and the Restless. Against little known Amanda Skelton from Russellville, Arkansas, who has given Mia a spirited tussle through the first three. That Mia, she just digs right in there, going to the body, back up to the head. She's got a repertoire there. She has made good on her promise to be more measured in her punch output and to attempt to put punches together in logical combinations. When we saw her last September, she was just fire and leather all through both or all four rounds. She just cannot believe that Amanda is so tough. She is tough. Tough women, tough sport. Amanda gets hit hard. Yeah, she gets hit hard to the body. She holds on, gets a breath, taking a deep breath, and come back for more. But she's so tired now that she reaches for Mia as soon as Mia arrives, and Mia's still punching. So St. John is putting some distance between herself and Skelton here in the fourth round, as so it would appear. Skelton's going to need more conditioning work to be ready to go four full rounds. Did you notice she never takes any steps backwards? Everything is forward. Come on, 
St. John missing with a howitzer right. Landed behind the neck, and Skelton just totally out of gas now as they come down the stretch, and Mia St. John rallies one more time. A hard left hook to punctuate the damage. A spirited battle. Amanda she Skelton did has uh, told us, she did George, it. that she's a third cousin of the late, great Red Skelton. Maybe she can try stand-up after this. Uh-oh. She did it. She didn't back up. And she fought for three rounds. Harold, how do you have it through four? Jim, I got it four to nothing, 40 to 36, Mia St. John. I mean, I thought she landed the most, you know, the harder, cleaner punches by far. She won it on clean punching, probably on aggressiveness too. But the heavyweight champion of the world is right. Amanda Skelton is tough. George is 100% correct. Uh, I mean, she hung in there and fought back. It's amazing. She took shots on the jaw that really should have dropped her, and she was right there the whole four rounds. It was a real good fight, but I think Mia St. John just got the better of it. I fought a guy, Bobby Crabtree from Arkansas. Yep. And I thought I was going to have an easy time. For some reason, the water or something makes them tough down there. Bobby <laughs> Crabtree was like death for a lot of guys. Mm. One of those hellaciously tough country boy journeyman opponents. And now let's go to Michael Buffer for the official particulars on this one. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the Budweiser scorecards. Patricia Jarman Manning scores about 40 to 36. Dick Halk has it the same, 40 to 36, and the same from Bill Graham, 40 to 36 for the winner. Still undefeated, she is now the queen of the four rounders, Mia St. John. <laughs> well, Larry, they called her the queen of the four rounders, and I saw you slump down toward the table. <laughs> You're thinking the sport doesn't need another four round monarch, right? <laughs> A four-round mama. <laughs> four-round monarch mama Mia Rosales St. John stretches a record to 10 and 0 with seven knockouts. Let's go back up to our host, James Brown. All right, Jim, thank you very much. Well, 